Alright guys, how's it going? And welcome back to the Road to Brazil. Obviously we have already qualified for the World Cup in Brazil next year, but there is still one qualifier to play, and that is against Moldova. It's at Wembley, so here's a team that we're going to go with. In goal, we've gone for John Ruddy. At right back, we've got Mika Richards. Left back, Ashley Cole. I need to remember that's not Joe Cole. I recorded a video a minute ago, um, which um, halfway through my computer decided to restart. So this game got lost, so I'll explain that in a minute. Um, so Ashley Cole left back, the centre back pairing of Phil Jones and Stephen Corker, uh, Gareth Barry and Frank Lampard in the midfield, Raheem Sterling on the left, Theo Walcott on the right, Jack Wilshere just behind Daniel Sturridge up front. So we've gone for players that sort of haven't been playing as much during the campaign, just to try and get you know match fitness um, up, etc. So let's get into the game. Um, I think it was just a one injury. I think it was Wilfred Zaha who would have been starting this game. He started the the last game when I played it a minute ago. He actually scored. It was one all. We went one 0 down after a, a sloppy um, corner that they scored from. Um, and then yeah, Zaha scored a little after that. Um, so yeah, it's it's a shame that he got injured. Oh my goodness me! I apologise for your ears. Let's turn that down a bit. How's that? Am I too loud still? Fucking hell. Right, hopefully you can't really hear that. Um, but, yeah. So, as I was saying, I had a game a minute ago. And the... the I don't know what happened. Like, every time Cole got the ball, I kept calling him Joe Cole instead of Ashley Cole for some reason. Um, that's a ball in. Is it going to go in? Yeah, it is. Jack Wilshere with the goal and the the belly flop um, so yeah this message came up on the screen about um, security or something and it just shut my computer down it was really weird I've, I'd never seen it before and yeah it was like well we're drawing one all with Moldova so um, yeah that was quite a strange one but that's gone now and that's a terrible miss by Daniel Sturridge so yeah, into the last game. We've already qualified, like I said, so all these players are pretty much just, you know, getting match fitness, getting a few caps under their belts, etc. Um, but we've got more attack in this game. Last game was on control. And we'd, we'd only played about 20 minutes or so. We were looking alright, but I suppose at Wembley, we'd, um, you know, you'd expect England to be attacking teams like this. No disrespect to Moldova. Here's a Lampard into Wilshire and playing in the hole. Sturridge, and that is 2 0. That's why you have Jack Wilshire in there. I've debated changing the team around, but the thing is, there's so many good players in that that can play in that hole. You got Rooney that can play in there. You got Wilshire that can play in there. Um, in his day, Gerard probably could have played there. Not so much anymore. He's probably dropping deeper. There's Wilshire again, and that's another goal. Poor goalkeeping, but it's three 0 Jack Wilshire with his second goal of the game, and so far we are absolutely cruising. Wilshere is enjoying the time of his life out there, just picking up, picking off the holes, picking, playing in the gap. Sorry, almost 25 minutes gone, and uh, Moldova haven't really shown us anything to be concerned about as of yet. I think Corker might come off at halftime just to save him. Picked up a bit of a knock. There is a halftime whistle. Three 0 at halftime, and yeah. Please with how things are going. It's a good team talk. Um, let's bring on the Ox for Walcott. And we'll do Cahill for Corker. That is it for now. So here we go into the second half. Hopefully we can start the second half how we started the first. Get a few early goals. That's well worked. Playing out, that's a sloppy pass though. We we're lucky that wasn't a highlight. Raheem Sterling will be happy on a 7.1 this first game. It was a good game to have actually, the, the last game, just you know to put a few younger players out, players that haven't really played as much. And we've got a corner, it's Wilshire, can you get another assist? Sturridge, Cahill, I think he's at the, is he at the post, or just hit the side netting. But yeah, not a lot's happened in the second half really. Oh. As my phone, but we'll take the win comfortable as, as you like. 3 0 at home, that'll see us through 
Oh, there's a highlight there. It's sterling. Still sterling into Sturridge. Back to Sterling. Can he get a goal in his debut? Plays for Oxlade Chamberlain. He does get an assist. If that's going to count, it is. That should bump up his rating a little bit. But that's uh, the two young wingers combining. Checked his run, made sure he's on side. Slotted it past the keeper that didn't really narrow the angle for him. Is this going to be another highlight? This should be the end of the game. Richards with the ball in. Sterling back post. Sturridge. And that is the end of the game. And the end of our qualifying campaign. So let's do a little round up when we get back to the to the main screens. That's absolute dominance. That is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, let's... Um, We'll have an overall look when it loads. So here we go. Ten messages. Uh, assess my performance. They're pleased that we're qualified. They're confident that I'll meet my expectation in the World Cup. I'm not sure what that is, what the expectation is, but um, yeah. Baines reserved. I thought he didn't play. England optimistic for future. Okay. Uh, satisfied? Yeah, I should, I should um, I should think so. Yeah, that that was a silly thing to say. That those shit options, to be fair. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the overall table. Have a look at the teams that are qualified, etc. So from Group One, Belgium qualify with Croatia getting a playoff spot. Um, they actually they were miles away from anyone else Scotland, Wales, Serbia and Macedonia uh, Italy have qualified in Group 2 in Group 3 Germany and Austria have qualified in Group 4 um, Holland and Romania have uh, got themselves in with a chance or they oh that was close actually so Romania go into the, the playoff and Holland go through Switzerland qualify in Group 5 with Slovenia uh, getting a playoff spot. Portugal qualify with Israel getting a qualifying uh, or a playoff spot, sorry, um, in Group 6. And in Group 7, Bosnia and Herzegovina. What a group that is. That's a terrible group. They qualify top um, with Greece getting a playoff spot. In our group, we went through obviously, didn't lose a game, which is always nice to see. Um, played 10, 1 8, drawn 2. Uh, I think them draws, did they come before I was here? I'm not sure. Um, but we had a plus 26 goal difference, which I'm not sure if anyone else has got. Oh, yeah, Italy had plus 33, Jesus Christ. Um, and in this one, France go through automatically and Spain qualify for the, uh, for the playoffs. So it'll be interesting to see who they get. But I don't think the draw's done till December, so I'll probably end up. Um, playing a little bit now. I don't know if you can see the full calendar. Uh, what's today? Anything coming up? And 19s. Uh, friendly. It says World Cup qualified, but then it says friendly there. Um, Portugal friendly. Uh, there we go. So it's a World Cup draw on the 6th um, of December. So that's something that we can look forward to. I'm not sure whether to play the friendlies or to record the friendlies. Um, I might just, because obviously this is all about the road to Brazil. So um, now we've got that, I think it'd just be better to, I might record the draw actually. I might do it at the end of this video actually to see how long it takes me to get there. I could just holiday because we're not actually going to have to pick a squad or anything until till next year it's just getting to there so yeah I'll, I'll um i'll go to the draw now so you can watch that and yeah i'll see you soon all right guys welcome back to the uh to the draw um so we're in the fourth pot for the draw i think we went up to 11th in the world which means we're not seeded uh, unfortunately so yeah here we go um the seeded teams are argentina italy germany spain brazil belgium portugal and uruguay uh, in the second part, we've got Iran, Costa Rica, USA, South Korea, Australia, Japan, Saudi Arabia, and Trinidad and Tobago. 
Uh, the third seeds are Algeria, Egypt, Ghana, Romania, Colombia, Chile, Nigeria and Senegal. And the four seeds are Bosnia and Herzegovina, um, Greece, Holland, Switzerland, France, England, Mexico and Ukraine. So, yeah, let's um, draw out the first pots. Okay, so that obviously doesn't affect anything at the minute. So let's go to the, the second um, draw or second pot uh, second round draw um, so yeah nothing there really that stands out uh, let's go third seeds and we'll assess it after this okay so um, group E is looking like I don't know that it's got the highest sort of ranked people in it so far with uh, Spain and Colombia in there both in the top 10 um, apart from that, all the other groups really have just got the one standout team. So I think if we agree, avoid Group E, I think it, is it two that go through in every group? I'm guessing so. Um, I mean, really, Group F I think would probably be the best one. But yeah, we'll see what we get. So Switzerland going to Group A with Brazil, Japan, and Romania. Holland going to Group B. That's just got a bit more tasty with Argentina and Holland in there. Um, with Saudi Arabia and Ghana as well. Group C is Ukraine. So we've avoided Italy. Um, along with Iran and Senegal. France going to Group D. Um, with Portugal, South Korea and Nigeria. Now this is the one we don't want ideally. Will we get it? We will get it. So we're going to have Spain in our group. And Colombia. Um, and Costa Rica too. So some very tough games there this um, oh this could be this could be tight uh, so the next team out is Greece they're going to a group with Uruguay USA and Egypt uh, the group after that group G is Belgium Australia Algeria and Mexico and yeah that's the last group so uh, it was Bosnia Chile Germany and Trinidad and Tobago so let's take a look back at our group quickly. So we've got Colombia, Costa Rica, England, and Spain. So that's a quite a tricky group. Um, let's see if it says anything about it. There we go. England to face Spain. Oh, a straightforward group. Mm, you say that, but uh, we've also got a, a range of pre World Cup friendlies. I'm not sure whether I'll play them. Uh, we did play the, the two friendlies. We won one and lost one. Lost to Portugal 3 1, but beat USA. 2-1 um, so yeah uh, that is not the team that I would have put out people like Ashley Young uh, Jack Rodwell I know it probably wouldn't have made a big difference but yeah I wasn't in control but yeah that's it we've got our group um, got to do some friendlies and then I'm not sure when I've got to announce the squad uh, will that come up let's have a look under 21s Uh, preliminary squad announcement is on the 14th of May and then I'm guessing uh, the the numbers come out on the 10th of June and then yeah I think that's pretty much it it'll be the start of the tournament here the 16th so yeah it's all uh, it's all very exciting stuff so thanks for watching guys hopefully you did enjoy and hopefully you'll be back to join us when we do go to Brazil and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get out of the group. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon. Peace.